can't sleep. If you've ever done these kinds of extended fasts, then you might have noticed that your sleep patterns, they may get messed up and you actually may not even fall asleep. First of all, it may be simply because of feeling hungry. Secondly, you may be simply too stressed out because of the elevated cortisol. And thirdly, you may be simply running low on some of the other electrolytes and minerals that your body needs. Threat is imminent. I'm going to share with you another clip from the Biohackers live show with Greg Plotter. He's a sleep specialist and, um, and a researcher. So check it out. I'm going to talk about how fasting influences your sleep and what you can do about it. Okay, so you went for like uh, several days of a fast recently. And the studies that I've looked into basically say that if you don't have like food available, then your body kind of naturally keeps you more awake so that you can hunt and, yeah. and find the food. So, mm. so have you noticed anything like this, like loss of sleep quality in aura or anything when you went for this like three day fast or something like this? Uh, no, actually, actually, I uh, actually slept better because oh. of, uh, I, f I feel part of it had to do with uh, simply being more energy restricted in general to, you know, you, you're, of course, you're gonna, you know, if you haven't eaten anything, you're gonna feel slightly, you know, confined in the sense, still, you know, you, you're not gonna have like that much explosive power. But at the same time, I feel like I slept better because of, you know, I was, I was simply so depleted and also kind of tired in the sense that uh, I didn't feel any disruption in my sleep quality. Hmm. Okay, let's let's bring Greg here. So Greg, uh, what do you think about all of this? Yeah, I think it's very interesting and people need to play with what works best for them. So I certainly think that eating too close to bed is likely to impair sleep. There's another aspect to this beyond timing too and that certain foods will influence sleep. Certain compounds in the diet will influence sleep. So obvious ones are things like caffeine and then also alcohol but in addition to that i think that over time if you go through an extended fasting period then what i would expect as you pointed out is that sleep would eventually fragment and that is adaptive so you see that in various studies of animals but there haven't been many studies of humans looking at the effects of prolonged fasting on sleep but as you pointed out i think that it would be evolutionarily advantageous for you to be more awake and more alert and more active during times of food restriction. And it makes sense mechanistically too. But with that said, I suppose that there are other facts at play too. So I think that you're on a keto diet, for example, and that generally has an appetite suppressing effect. And when you can suppress your appetite and go without food for a period of time, then perhaps that won't disrupt your sleep so much. Hmm. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Like eventually, you're of, of course, you're going to run into some sleep troubles, especially if you're already running on low on low body fat and you don't have even energy from your own adipose tissue either. So it's it's going to eventually lead to some sort of disruptions in sleep. But in general, like the first few days of uh, fasting, there, I, I, I think like there's not much uh, like decrease in sleep quality, I believe, in my experience as well. Yeah, and that's, that's interesting because if you look at how sleep is regulated, then fasting might influence several mechanisms that contribute to good sleep. So, for example, if you go for a long period of time without food, then your levels of growth hormone are going to go up because the function of growth hormone principally is to effectively preserve your lean body mass while mobilizing your energy stores. People think about it as perhaps contributing to things like muscle growth, but it doesn't really do so. It's more anti-catabolic than it is anabolic. So... Anyway, with fasting, growth hormone and ghrelin will go up. And growth hormone seems to be important to uh, deep sleep in particular. So that's one way by which it could contribute. And then there are other things too. So fasting, for example, might influence inflammation in your body and various inflammatory processes are implicated in sleep regulation too. And it depends on your starting point. So you might have someone who's very inflamed you might have someone else who's not very inflamed and they might respond differently to fasting. So it's probably an instance where some people will actually experience improved sleep. On average, I think that most people would experience worse sleep with prolonged fasting. But as I mentioned, that work really hasn't been done to my knowledge. Okay, so let's make some concluding remarks as well. Generally, fasting will only decrease your sleep quality if you're already running low on electrolytes or if you're very low on body fat. If you feel like you have a lot of energy that is going to keep you awake, 
then it's just a matter of moving around. Your body is producing so many ketone bodies that that's going to keep you awake and it's going to keep you alert as well. So what you can do is spend more time being physically active during the fast. That's going to lower your ketones a little bit and it's going to put you into a more parasympathetic state afterwards as well. Other stuff you have to do is make sure you get enough electrolytes, especially sodium, potassium, and uh, maybe like magnesium as well to not get the cramps while you're sleeping. If you're feeling slightly anxious or stressed out in your head, then you can drink some cam oil teas or other herbal teas that have a soothing effect. Doing some stretching, foam rolling, reading, everything that is going to put you into a more relaxed state is going to help you to sleep better. I wouldn't recommend taking any supplements like GABA or melatonin while you're fasting for longer than 24 hours because they may potentially kick you out of a fast state. Please go away, let me sleep for the love of God! If you're fasting for like 16 hours every day, then this doesn't probably gonna affect your sleep quality much because you're gonna go to bed while having consumed some food. The key is to make sure that you're gonna maintain stable blood sugar and energy levels throughout the night. That's why it's not a good idea to spike your insulin in the dinner time and to, you know, fall into hypoglycemia during the night. Generally, these good low glycemic carbs or proteins or some vegetables, those are gonna keep you satiated for a longer period of time and they're gonna prevent this crash. I'm pretty tired. If you've been fasting for about three to five days and you see that your sleep quality is decreasing, that you're not even falling asleep during the night, then it may actually be a good idea to break the fast and to allow yourself to recover. But uh, yeah, it may not happen. This sucks. Other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay relaxed. Stay empowered. Let me sleep for the love of God!